Hey guys, it's your girl Raquel. Today is July 23rd, 2020. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update from my colonoscopy and endoscopy. So they removed a polyp from inside my colon on the 16th um, when I had the colonoscopy and the endoscopy done. And I went today for a follow-up appointment they still don't have the res uh, results from the biopsy of the polyp, but they did have some results for me, and I just wanted to go over that with you guys. Um, so I was informed today at my, my appointment that, yes, for sure, they did remove a polyp that was inside of my colon, the size of a softball, and it uh, is being biopsied. Um, and then they started telling me what they are thinking my diagnosis is. So today I was told that uh, they believe my diagnosis is Lynch syndrome, which is apparently a hereditary predisposed cancerous gene that just makes, I guess, me pre-exposed to cancer. Um, so I have to go and see a genetic specialist and get some genetic testing done. Um, over the next three weeks, I will be getting a lot of testing done. I will be getting a lot of answers. And today I was just left with a lot of questions, a lot of fear, anxiety. Like, you don't think that you can have something happen to you when you're 34. I thought, like, once I lost weight that I would be okay. That I would have less, less health risk. And then I'm literally... It seems like ever since I lost the weight, I've had consecutive, like... Back-to-back -back illnesses where they can't figure out what's wrong. They can't blame my weight anymore. So um, these doctors didn't have any answers for me. And now that I finally do have some answers, I, I'm left with more questions now. Like, what does that mean for me? Like, what type of cancer do I have? Um, is it something that I can take medicine for and it goes away? Is this something like, I would I have to have chemo? Is this something where I would, you know, need a progressive treatment. Like, I'm scared. My kids are young, like nine, six, and five. So yeah, I'm, I'm scared. I'm a little terrified. I'm not sure um, what to really think at this moment. Sorry. I just know what I can do is stay positive and just try to wait it out. Honestly, um, my body has felt so tired and I've just been dealing with a lot of fatigue that I don't make content anymore unless it's really simple, quick videos. It doesn't take a lot of energy. Um, and that sucks because I feel like sharing my world with you guys is what really kept me positive and kept me moving. And now it's just like, I'm slowed down because I don't want to show anyone my misery or the feelings that I've been feeling or the emotions that I've been going through. I don't want to share that. Um, a lot of people get like that. And for me, it's just like a lot of what ifs. Like I said, my kids are very young. So for me, I have a lot of questions. Like, what does this mean for my kids? Like, will they have this? Will they need to get it uh, a test? Will they need to worry? Like, did I pass my bad genes on to them? Like, I'm fucking terrified. I didn't mean to say that word. Boop, just beep it out. But I am, I'm terrified, guys. Um, I will keep you guys updated on what happens from here. But that was my update from the colonoscopy and the endoscopy. Um, if you guys have any questions, remember to like, subscribe, and you guys can get back at me. Thanks, guys.